Hey guys, Kerry Werner here at the Natural Springs RV Park in somewhere Ohio. Figured I'd shoot this one in front of some Halloween stuff since we are getting close to the end of October here. Anyway, we're gonna jump right in here to the third and final race recap from Jingle Cross and that is the World Cup Day. So after Friday night and Saturday's race, you know, I wasn't quite sure how the legs and body were going to respond to a really high level of competition and intensity. So with that said, my expectations they weren't necessarily low, but I didn't really have any goals. I was kind of like waiting for the race to start and see kind of what would happen after that. So I had a second roll call up, which was pretty sweet. Good start. Everything was clean made it up Mount Crumpet okay. I did have to run the first time up just because being 20 back and coming into that compression there at the bottom of Crumpet where the two stairs are, kind of like jammed everybody together. So anticipating that I got off and ran the whole thing, made it to the top and then came down into the sand pit and totally messed this up. Like I apologize to everybody that was behind me. I didn't pre-ride because I'd done the track 10 times the day before in the Saturday C2. I didn't realize it would be raked sand, so I thought there was just gonna be that paved line on the left, and I came into it not ready for it, got offline, got off my bike, got back on my bike, in the wrong gear. It was just a bad situation. Sorry about that. But anyway, after that, up Crumpet from the backside, dropped down into pit two, and did the stuff on the flat. At, in the fairground there and then uh, brought it around the start finish straight into lap two and by that time kind of like the groups were established there was there was kind of small gaps in between groups so the big the big effort and the flow of this whole track was pretty easy to figure out it was just like really really hard effort up crumpet the first time dropped down through the sand really really hard effort up crumpet the second time to the world cup downhill and then you're just kind of recovering maintaining gaps in the groups and the whole bottom section of the course was really just group racing. I started out pretty slow, not too worried about where I was. All I was focusing on was being consistent and smooth and it paid off because dudes were exploding. So guys were coming back, they just went out too hard and didn't like realize the race was really like a set of intervals. You do the crumpet climb, you drop back down, you do the crumpet climb, then you recover on the flat and then you do it all again. And so for me, it paid off as I started moving up through the middle of the race. Eventually, I moved up into a group. It was with three to go or so that was fighting for 13th place. Curtis had actually started going backwards at that point. Gage was also in that group. Vandenham was in that group. Myself, and there was a couple other Euros. Marcel Meissen got on the front, uh, the German champ, and he strung it out and gapped us early. That kind of like forced us to chase him with two to go. I think I came through the finish line by myself. I tried to bridge a gap on a group that formed at the top of the climb, and I didn't quite latch on before the start finish straight, which was a big mistake for me. I burnt a lot of matches hanging out there in no man's land. And then the group came together anyway, so it was really, really a waste of energy. So we came through with two to go, and, and everything more or less stayed the same there. I think everybody was pretty keen on like, maintaining their spot in the group and then coming into that last lap and, and saving everything for the two crumpet climbs with one lap to go. I should have shuffled myself further to the front of that group, but I was dying. Those last two laps really started to, to bring to the surface the, the previous two days of racing. And so I just kind of floating on the back of that group and I hit crumpet and that's where the gaps happen. And basically from the bottom of crumpet through the end of the lap is what stayed. Curtis did end up coming back on. He saved a little bit for those last couple laps and surged, came around Michael and myself. Gage managed to stay up there and battle it out for 15th place. Curtis was 16th, a Euro slotted in between Curtis and Vandenham for 17, 18, and then I came through for 19th place. That's it, three days in a row of Jingle, finished off the Cyclocross Stage Race of America. Pretty happy with how I rode. Considering Friday, Saturday's race, I was really happy with how I finished on Sunday. Now we're moving into Cincy, the last C1 race in the US for the year. 
and the final round of the USCAC. Padded my lead by racing Friday and Saturday at Jingle. So, you know, if everything goes according to plan, uh, I don't have any catastrophic mechanicals or meltdowns. I should have that one in the bag, but you never know. Name of the game this week is recovery, and then we'll see you guys next time at the Cincy CX and the last round of the US CX series. Thanks for watching.